Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Dan from DHTV, and today I'm going to be showing you how you can lock your applications to require Face ID or a passcode. Let's get started. All right, now when it comes to password protecting your apps, you can do this on the iPhone, the iPad, as long as you're running iOS 18 or later, we're going to be locking the applications on the iPhone 16 Pro. And as you can see, when I open an application that's locked, it prompts you to enter face ID or a passcode and that application will open. Now, the way you set this up is incredibly easy. You're just going to basically tap and hold on an app. You'll get the extra options here. And the one you want to look at is called require face ID. Now, if you don't have face ID set up, it'll say require passcode, but you're going to tap on that. It'll give you a little rundown here, basically letting you know that face ID or your passcode is needed to unlock, but also that app content won't appear in notifications, previews, or spotlight. So keep that in mind. So we'll require Face ID. It's going to find Face ID. And now once again, it's letting us know that any apps with music access, so any app you're gonna set this up with will give you a similar thing, but ours for music, Face ID is required to see music library and other apps. They still may request access to your music library in the future though, so keep that in mind. Tap done. And now if we try to open music, again, Face ID. And if Face ID fails, passcode, enter that in, and it'll bring you to your music app, just like that. Now, if you wanna take things one step further, you can hide the application in the app library, which is this section right here. So once you've set that up, for example, we did that with music, we can tap and hold, we can tap remove app, and we can choose remove from home screen. So now it's not even going to appear on the home screen. The only way you'll be able to find this app is if you pull down here and type it in, it'll appear there. And then again, it'll still prompt you to use face ID or passcode. Or if you go to the app library, you can find it in this list. Again, prompted for that passcode or face ID, or you can search for it in the app library as well. So that's how you password protect applications on the iPhone, iPad, using face ID, touch ID, or passcodes. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button, subscribe, and click the bell notification box to be notified when I post new videos. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments below. And if you're looking for more great iPhone tips, tricks, and tutorials, there's a full playlist in the video description where you can learn how to use the iPhone to its full capacity. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.